Oh, yeah. Okay, this is, might be muddy because the top on this one's uh, open. Oh, we don't care so, about mud. There you go, fellas. So I get the second bunker. Here's a Texaco sign. Here's some cans. Here's a Coca-Cola sign. Every room is packed. It's like putting a fat kid in a candy store. Texaco gasoline localized for you. I like that. I think if you look on the back, it's, it's got, yeah, there's, there's your name. It says Frank right on it. says Frank right on the back. That's right. And you know what it says right on the front here? Yeah. It says $60. Ooh, yeah, that's right. You got it. Hey, Dan. Rob, the only time I ever see these signs, they're on top of the buildings. Yep. This was a 17-foot-long sign that went on the top ridge of the transfer station. It said Con uh, Conoco Oil Company on it. Very, very highly sought-after sign to the Conoco collectors. Yeah, they were on top of the building. They still have the original mounts on this one. Would you do 800 on the pair? I think it's a pretty cool piece. I, I, Robbie, I, I'd, I'd like to have 1000 bucks. Can you do that? I'll do a thousand. Oh, seriously, Thank I'll do you. a thousand. On Appreciate them. it. What about the Coca-Cola sign? It's, it's so bad that it's good. It's hurting. It's got rust. It's got bolt holes. It's beyond character, and it's cool. I would take 150 bucks for it. All right, it'd be a great piece for somebody to put on their barn. No one's gonna touch it. This one's safe and sound. I think he's got a vision. You could take a brand new car and knock a hubcap and break a headlight out of it, and the value drops to half to people. They can't see past it. He can see past it. You bet. Wow! Whoa! We can pick till you puke. Frank was digging in a box, and I said, what the hell is he doing? Oh, look at there. It's a Goodyear's tire. You found a nugget. It's double-sided. It's still very, very presentable. I buy anything that's Goodyear, good rich, anything that's good. $80. Well, I'm not going to argue with you. You found Team it. Team B, baby. You know, he dug two good things out of there, and he wanted them. Matchless auto lamps. It's too bad it's so faded. Look at the girl on it. Oh, man. 10 bucks. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you one thing. He's got a nose for good crap. 50 bucks. Absolutely. All right. I mean, that guy's like a bloodhound. He just went right to it. s and green stamps. Now, this isn't porcelain. 40 bucks. Yeah, that's fine. Frank goes right to the bottom of the pile, like a rabbit, you know, hot dog hunting a rabbit. I mean, how do you do that? 150? I would gladly take that for it, to be honest with you. I mean, them guys are professional pickers. That, that's all there is to it. Heck, I'm doing pretty good in the yeah. first place. You're, you're a scrounger. This thing right here is a wind charger for a farm, basically, is what they are. It sat on a pole, it generated electricity. Yeah, like this one says, 32 volt wind charger corp, Sioux City, Iowa. This wind generator would have been used to charge batteries to power a radio on the farm. So this piece is the long piece, and then there's your generator up there, which looks like it's all gone. The brake is here, but it's bent and mangled. And I know they reproduce a lot of these parts. They're pretty darn cool when they're set up. Think about how isolated a family farm was in the 1920s. This was their connection to the outside world. I'll tell you what I want to do. This piece and the tail, the rest of it that remains here, 400 bucks. Ooh, that's a lot. Are you sure you want to pay that much? This is a good decorator piece. Right, Okay. Right, right. This piece put back together is going to demand good money. You get down the I road think... 100 miles, you're going to say, oh, man, I paid too much. I don't think so. I think 400 is a good number. Okay, buddy. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.